Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will talk about how is information security actually implemented and what are the mechanisms and the ways in which we go about to implement information security. Now, when we talk about how is information security implemented, it is important to look again at the three pillars of information security that we already talked about, which are people, process, and technology. And let's look, look at this diagram. So people, process, and technology are the core three functions and also called the information security triad. And all the, the entire information security domain is always consisting of these three entities working together and in their entirety and working holistically. So people, process, and technology always have to be looked at irrespective of what activity we are considering or conducting in information security. Now, when we talk about how is information security implemented, first of all, let's look at the leadership commitment or the leadership activities, the activities of the management. There is tone at the top or the culture, which is followed by the top management of the organization. How important is information security for them? Do they themselves follow information security? Do they hold others accountable and expect others to follow information security? So the culture set at the top of the organization is very important. And the expectations set at the top of the organization are very important. And then there are information security policy and objectives. A policy is set out as a constitution, which is done by the top management. And the objectives are goals which need to be achieved as a result of the information security program. And then there is assigning responsibility and authority, which is done by the top management. And assigning responsibility means that a person or, an or, or a department is set up to look after the information security function. We have resource allocation, so people and budget need to be assigned to the information security team so that they can conduct the information security activities. And then we have performance reviews. So, so the senior management on a periodic basis should conduct reviews on how effective the information security program has actually been. And they should take measures for the continual improvement of the information security program. And then there is ensuring accountability. If the policy for information security is not being followed, then the top management needs to take measures so that people are held accountable and there are disciplinary measures so that the tone which is set in the organization is that this is mandatory, it is important, and it has to be followed. Now, when we talk about how is information security implemented, we just looked at the top management, but then there is the role of the information security manager or the chief information security officer, also called CISO. Now, the CISO heads the department and is responsible for imp implementing the information security program. The CISO, or the head of information security, directs planning, implementation, measurement, review, and continual improvement of the program, meaning that the head of information security, or the CISO, runs the entire information security program. Then we come to the IT user. How is information security implemented by the IT user? The IT user understands the policies, conducts security risk or risk assessment for their department or their function. An IT user would design effective security architecture. If you are in the security team, you would develop SOPs and checklists for their function following the policy on how to conduct an activity while ensuring that information security is looked after. A IT user would implement controls for example, on a server or on an application or on a network device, an IT user will report incidents which violate the information security policy, for example. And the IT user will also conduct effective change management. Whenever there is a change in the IT organization, then it is regulated through a change management process. Let's look at a business user. How would a business user in an organization implement information security? through security awareness and training, which is delivered to the business user so that they are aware of the policies and the procedure which is to be followed. A business user will follow the information security policy. 
a business user will develop and implement secure business processes, making sure that whatever activity they are conducting, the flow of that activity ensures that security controls are embedded in the business process. A business user will make sure that role-based access control and periodic reviews are conducted for user access management, for IDs, and for roles associated with those IDs, for example, in a database. And then we have reporting incidents. So whenever there is an incident, Business and IT users should report those incidents so that they can be handled through an incident management process. An information security program is the mechanism of how the entire information security is implemented inside the organization. It consists of assessing security risks and gaps, implementing security controls, monitoring, measurement, and analysis of the security objectives and the security activities, conducting management reviews and internal audit as a check to make sure that the information security program is going as per the plan, and then performing accreditation, meaning that if there's a new application which is being launched by a business user or a business team, the information security team will accredit or will validate and check and certify that the application is okay to introduce into the production environment because it meets the information security controls which were, which were outlined for this particular application. And then we have testing. So the testing is conducted on a periodic basis in order to make sure that the information security posture of the organization is intact and it is as per the expectation of management.